Muslims around the globe are celebrating Eid al-Adha, one of the biggest holidays celebrated in Islam. But many remain concerned about rising Islamophobia in countries around the world, including right here in Canada. Known as the Feast of Sacrifice, celebrating the willingness of the prophet Abraham to sacrifice his son Ishmael as an act of obedience to God, Eid al-Adha coincides with the final rites of the annual Hajj pilgrimage. Pilgrims in the holy city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, performing the Jamarat, or stone-throwing ritual today. <laughs> It is a, a very special time for Muslims across the globe, as well as here in Canada. Across the Middle East and North Africa, millions gathered at mosques for Eid prayers. <laughs> Massive crowds descended on the Al-Aqsa Mosque in East Jerusalem for prayers as well, with children offered sweets and parents taking photos to remember the day. <laughs> In Gaza, this Palestinian man saying they celebrate despite the pain of the ongoing and bloody Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which has heated up recently. Here in Canada, more than 20,000 people gathered for morning prayers in Mississauga, part of a special event put on by relief organization Penny Appeal Canada, just one of the many gatherings for prayers at mosques across the country. So we had around, I would say, probably close to uh, two to 3,000 people at the Hamilton Downtown Mosque and all the other local mosques were uh, offering you know, multiple eight prayers because, um, because it's, it's a big deal for us. Some celebrating with a special family meal after morning prayers. You know, the kids are uh, you know, all dressed up and you know, everybody's uh, wearing their, you know, their, uh, their new eat clothes. But despite the festive atmosphere in many locales, there was an anti-Islam protest in Sweden where two men destroyed a Quran and set the holy book on fire in front of Stockholm's central mosque, police allowing it to happen. We are uh, quite concerned that uh, Islamophobia is on the rise. The stereotyping, the misconceptions, and the, uh, the lack of basically knowledge about the, the reality of Islam and Muslims is, is the leading cause. Ignorance is the leading cause to the rise uh, on Islamophobia. The Muslim, um, uh, organizations uh, should be, uh, you know, uh, supported and funded uh, so that we can do more reach out. The National Council of Canadian Muslims applauding an announcement from Public Safety Minister Marco Mendicino, who says places of worship and other organizations at risk of hate-motivated crime can now apply for funding for security equipment to help protect themselves. The $5 million security infrastructure program includes a new stream of emergency funding available year-round for places dealing with significant hate-motivated crime. <laughs>